It was an off-court altercation that gained wide, widespread attention. On the night of the Toronto Raptors championship win, Raptors president Masai Ujiri was stopped by an officer on his way onto the court and an altercation ensued over proper credentials. Now, body cam footage from that night has just been released, revealing critical details about what actually transpired. This video, released by Ujiri's lawyers, is from the body camera of Alameda County Sheriff's deputy, Alan Strickland. It shows what the wider public had not seen before, that Strickland initially shoved Ujiri back twice as the Raptors president attempted to show his credentials. Security camera footage from the arena in Oakland shows a wider angle view of the same altercation before Ujiri shoves back. Earlier this year, Strickland launched a federal lawsuit against Ujiri, the Toronto Raptors and the NBA claiming Ujiri attacked him. The Raptors president has now launched a countersuit, saying Strickland is, quote, undeniably the initial aggressor. And that video evidence shows Mr. Strickland subjected Mr. Ujiri to an unprovoked and unnecessary use of excessive force. Lawyer Lori Ann Thomas says it's difficult to say how exactly the video will affect the case since it's in the U.S. courts, but it is certainly compelling. Very rarely is it an open and shut case, but this appears to be a very open and sh shut case. Um, the probabilities uh, are on the side of Mr. Ajuri and against Mr. Strickland in this case. And um, it's, it's pretty sad this was brought on anyways, and it took this long to get uh, this video out uh, to the public. For many fans and supporters of Ujiri, the video only confirms what they had long suspected. Ujiri himself has made few comments publicly about the incident since it happened. In a May op-ed in the Globe and Mail, he wrote about the action spurred by the murder of George Floyd, as well as the Black Lives Matter movement. On the championship incident, he said in part, I can't say too much, but I will say this. If it was another team president heading for the court, a white team president, would he have been stopped by that officer? I've wondered that. A spokesperson for the Raptors released a statement on the video yesterday saying, the events of that evening cast a pall over what should have been a night of celebration and the year since. While Masai has the full backing of Raptors and MLSE as he fights this injustice, we are aware that not all people have similar support and resources. Curry lets it fly. Canada, the NBA title is yours. So it's such an unfortunate scenario that his biggest day, the day that he dreamt of, was tarnished, and after that his name was smeared. He's really made his mess, his mess, his organization. Every time they do something, you see the three words, Black Lives Matter. He's made something that was very personal to him public, so hopefully other persons don't have to go through the same thing. He has. The countersuit also names another officer in the Alameda County Sheriff's Office as having, quote, pushed a false narrative in the media as to what happened. Our colleagues at 680 News spoke today with the Sheriff's Office, and they say they stand by their deputy's original statement. And the office's original statement stands that Masai was the aggressor in the incident. Raptors guard Norman Powell also weighed in on the video. He spoke after the team's playoff game this afternoon. I'm glad that um, there was a body cam uh, to be able to, to show what actually went down. I know there was a lot of different stories going on um, saying that, you know, with Masai um, was the aggressor in this situation, you know, so I'm glad that we were able to get to the real bottom line and everybody can see uh, what really happened, you know, um, but it's exactly what we're fighting for, you know, um, for um, justice to be served for those cops that are, you know, taking the, the law a little bit um, into their own hands, you know, and unnecessarily.